Greetings. Let us learn about stone extraction balloon catheter, otherwise known as extraction balloon or extraction balloon catheter. And this is used to remove bile duct stones. Uh, you could also remove bile duct stones using a basket, but for small stones, it is preferable to use a balloon. And one of the advantages of a balloon catheter is you don't get into the trouble of uh, entrapment that can happen with a basket. So in addition to removing bile duct stones, the extraction balloon catheter is also used to remove pancreatic duct stones. Other uses include passing a guide wire through a narrow stricture, uh, especially for placement of colonic stents. So let us learn about the setup for extraction balloon catheter. You have the catheter and you have the syringes. So let us learn about the different components of a of an extraction balloon catheter. You have the balloon port and three syringes sized 8.5, 11.5, and 15 millimeter syringes. And you use a particular size syringe depending upon what the endoscopist requests and you attach it to the balloon port and when you push the syringe uh, plunger, the balloon will inflate. In addition to uh, the balloon port, there are two more ports for the balloon catheter. One is the injection port to inject dye and another one is the wire port that allows the catheter to go over a guide wire. So lastly, there is a memory wire that is inside the tip of the balloon catheter that keeps the shape of the uh, catheter tip intact. So now that we have learned about the different uh, components of a balloon catheter or extraction balloon catheter, uh, how do we go about operating it? The first step is you find the memory wire and you remove it out. That's the first step. Next, saline flush through the wire port followed by priming the injection port by injecting contrast and making sure there are no air bubbles. After that, you attach a particular syringe, and that is the inflation syringe, uh, to the balloon port, and check the balloon catheter by inflating the balloon. And when you inflate the balloon, the balloon inflates, and if you want to keep the balloon inflated, you close the valve. And if you want to deflate the balloon, you open the valve and the balloon deflates. So these are the principles of using an extraction balloon catheter. Now let us look at the balloon inflation syringes. As we have seen, there are three different sizes of syringes. And here we have the 8.5 millimeter syringe and how do you know whether you're inflating the right amount of air? And you can see a small side hole, and that is the one that allows to size the balloon to the appropriate size. So when you inject, most of the air escapes, and once it goes past that uh, 8.5 millimeter hole, you inflate the balloon to 8.5 millimeters. 
So now let us look at the principles of removal of CBD stones. So balloon retrieval uh, includes first uh, using a guide wire, passing the guide wire above the stone and passing the balloon catheter above the stone, inflating the balloon above the stone and then balloon sweep and as you sweep the stone down, it is important to align the balloon sweep uh, in the direction of the bile duct. And for that, the endoscopist gently pushes the scope down so as to align, followed by balloon sweep and stone retrieval. And once the stone comes out, you deflate the balloon, and if you need to remove some more stones, you repeat the steps. So these are the principles of balloon extraction, balloon catheter use. I hope this is useful. Thank you.